guys, so um, this is a very quick review, but I finally got Max to come on camera. So this is the bad, the bad, the bad one. This is the one I'm always talking about that never wants to come on camera. As you can see, he's like super huge for a Shih Tzu. He's like 25, 27 or something pounds right now. Well, he might be like 22 because I put him on a diet. But so this is Max. So y'all see him. Okay. Go down. Ninja move. Okay, so um quick review. And um what am I reviewing? Oh <laughs> I'm reviewing um Donna Marie Donna Marie Marie Can y'all stop? I'm reviewing um Marie Dean um coconut and apricot cream conditioner. Okay. So okay here. Um I think I told y'all I won their Christmas contest. Um, so I've had these since about around New Year's, maybe before New Year's. Anyways, so as you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. I think I have one more, about one more use of it left. Okay, so um, here's what it looks like. It's very thick, um, very thick and kind of foamy when you feel it, like it's been whipped up. So it does have a foamy feel to it, and yeah. And um, the ingredients are, um, I'll do the first five because there's quite a bit. Um, distilled water, kubachu butter, hang on, hey! Kubachu butter, um, sodium lactate, um, conditioning emulsifying wax, apricot kernel oil, and fractionated coconut oil. So those are the first five or six, five or six. So those are the main ingredients or whatever. Um, okay. Ways I have used this. I've used it as a rinse out. I've used it as a deep conditioner where it sat on my head for about 20, 30 minutes um, with just a shower cap and the silver conditioning cap you get from Sally's. Um, I've used it as a um, deep, deep, deep conditioner where it sat on my head for an hour or two. Um, I've used it to steam with. Um, and when I steam, I usually steam for 30 minutes because that's how long my water lasts in the steamer. Um, and yeah, so that's the way I've, that is the way I have used this stuff. <sighs> I don't like this stuff at all. Um, first off, for a conditioner, it is a deep conditioner, so y'all know when I have my deep conditioners, I don't look for like super slip or anything. But... I expect a conditioner to have some type of slip because it is a conditioner, right? And this, like, literally has the most minimal slip I've <laughs> for all the products I've used, and I've used quite a few, um, and I have a lot of reviews to do, but for all the products I've used, this really has minimal, 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 minimal slip for it to be a conditioner. Um, and again, it is a deep conditioner, so slip is not something I'm like, oh my Jesus over or anything. But dang, like little, too much slip. So that was a no. Then it has four different type of proteins in it, okay? So if you're borderline protein sensitive like me, that was an issue for me. It has um, hydrolyzed silk protein, hydrolyzed wheat protein, hydrolyzed keratin protein and oat flour yeah so the first time I used it I used it as just a rinse out okay so I just put on my hair blah 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 rinse it out and my hair felt eh like that's how my hair felt eh um, it wasn't like awesome or anything but it wasn't like super horrible bad right and then um when I used it for a deep um conditioner where I had it on my hair for a little bit I could, that's when I felt like, okay, yeah, this has a lot of protein in it and my hair isn't reacting right to it. So if your hair really likes protein, then, you know, you'd probably be really good with this. But my hair is kind of finicky when it comes to protein, so it'll, it'll look at it in his face and say, no way. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's, huh. I want, I really want, well, I didn't, let me not say I really wanted to like this stuff, because I didn't, because it's expensive. And I'll put the, the link in the box to their website or whatever. But, um, yeah, minimal slip, the protein in it gave me issues. 
um, for me, the way that I um, that it works best for me is when I um, put uh, I mix it with something. So like I'd mix this and my Jesse Curl together, or I'd mix this and um, God, what else did I mix it with? Trust My Naturals or whatever, just to give it a little bit more slip or whatever, and. That's the way it works best for me when I mix it with something and like put some honey in it or whatever because just this on its own does does nothing for my hair nothing for my hair um I haven't I didn't try to use it as a leave-in conditioner because it is very thick as you can see um yeah so I don't know I wanted to like this but yeah no go didn't 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 do anything for me um, let me see. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, the smell, it has a, it has a conditioner -y smell. I mean, I don't know what it's a, it has a, like a, kind of like a, f kind of floral, but not like the super floral, like old people floral. But it smells like conditioner, so, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, I just, huh. I didn't like it at all. Um, I am going to finish it just because um, I can make it work for me by adding, you know, some honey or mixing it with another conditioner or whatever. So, yeah, but would I actually buy this? Um, no, I wouldn't. Um, and if I got, if I won another contest or something and this came in it, um, I would probably have to give it away because I don't, I really, I really did not like this stuff. So yeah, guys, um, this is Marie Dean, um, coconut apricot cream conditioner and it's a, uh, for me. So, alright guys, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.